So if you see the something physical memory and something paged, non-paged, or the free page, available page, cached page, total page, something like that. And you can see the number of times if you research monitor, then go to the memory. So you can see some information about the page. So number of I.O. of the page, uh, the page I.O. is the indicator to decide whether this operating system has a good performance or not. We will see details example during the memory management. Storage management, so I think that uh, we will cover the storage management uh, from the chapter 10, 11, 12, what, 11, 12, 13. By the way, the storage management will be based on the file, as you can see over there, only the file. One word is the highlighted, but it's a file. <laughs> so you can keep your information on your file, same thing. So in the computer, you can keep the, any information on the file. File is a data structure. It's a different data structure from the memory, it's a different from the CPU, but it's a usually sequential. It's a sequence of the data. Even though you can open the file as like the, your notepad, but anyway, it's a just one sequence of the information, zero or one. Okay, but it has a format. So that is a data structure. So who will, who will manage such a file, okay, on the storage using the file system? What is a file system? What file system are you using on your computer? NTFS or FAT32 or UFS, NFS, and something, FS. It's a file system. File system is also Software, data structure, but software. So you need to sometimes project if you want to use a file, specific file system. Mostly included in the operating system, but that is a file system. We will see such a details of the file system management later. So this one shows the, such a difference in terms of performance, the various the stories. So from register, as I said, to the magnetic page, okay? Typical size. The register is very small. So one register, the AXBX is a 16 to 64 bit, but magnetic tape can be as large as possible, as much you can uh, roll. However, the speed <coughs> this time is a nanosecond. So you need to sum four times of the this the nanosecond to access a data or memory or whatever. Anyway, so it's a, even less than a nanosecond, but the magnetic tape is definitely it's a zero point something second, right? I don't have to explain again. So from the uh, the hard drive, right? so it will be the transfer move to the register. Finally, see if you can access the data from the register. Also, operating system covers such a protection and security of, of uh, the user. But if we have uh, extra time, I will cover the protection and security part, but probably not. So, okay. I'm not going to explain about the computing environment. You probably learn your the computing architecture, but uh, I think the, we can. This is the new uh, chapter, a uh, new slide uh, in the ninth edition. So nowadays it's a mobile, the computing environment. What's the difference? Mobile and uh, this other computing environment. Mostly mobile. that is based on wireless, wireless. connection, and also it's a. Uh, Movable, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you need to consider energy consumption. So that's the different uh, from the other operating system. Okay. Distributed is the, not the new one. 
client to server and peer to peer or so the nowadays where do you use the peer to peer download the movie from uTorrent <laughs> It's a communication method. Yeah, then uh, we can use uh, such a uh, the uh, network environment for the computing environment. So instead of the such a client, we can put the computer. This is the uh, P2P based computing environment. Then at that time, what is the issue of the operating system? That's the, what this slide want to uh, help, but we are not going to cover the, uh, such a network. But another the interesting topic is a virtualization. Virtualization, uh, without, instead of the allocating the separate chapter, probably we will discuss uh, several times uh, while we are covering the other topics. But basically, virtualization is uh, based on the using one hardware, but we can put the several different operating systems. So right now, I'm using the virtual machine for the uh, other sub subject, such as the NoSQL database or the big data system. I'm using such a virtual machine at the time, uh, the operating system. Even though in terms of operating system, because of the virtual machine, it's not uh, the different, but there might be some issues in operating system. Even one of which one is the most popular virtual machine? Java virtual machine. You already used since a long time, right? So Java virtual machine. Java is the base of the virtual machine. If you download the runtime module, runtime module is the virtual machine. Okay. That is the reason compile once run everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The real story is compile once debug everywhere. Okay. Nowadays the cloud computing, but the cloud computing is kind of the business point of view. But we need a different uh, technology. So for example, we have the software as a service we can uh, provide. We have the one simply computer, but give the, that application to the multiple user. Then we can get the money based on the usage. That is the idea of the software as a service platform. We can use the, uh, we can serve for the platform or even infrastructure. But we are not going to cover the, this cloud computing. Instead, uh, if you are interested in the cloud computing, you can take the other subjects such as the, a uh, big data system or okay so that's the end of the chapter so uh, next week we will see more in the operating system the concept okay